Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Dell XPS 139345. To open this small machine, you have to undo six Torx head screws. The middle vent is attached to the bottom plate. Insert a thin plastic tool close to one of the top two edges to create a gap. Then, pop the top corner, the side, the front, and the other side. Then, raise the front of the plate and tilt the panel. This should release the rear clips. If not, pry the sides around the central vent on the back. The machine has a 55-watt-hour battery. A metal bracket is positioned on top of the connector. Don't forget to grab your gloves before tackling any electrical work. Undo the single screw that secures the cap in place and slide the tiny shield to the left. Keep in mind that its bottom foot is positioned underneath the motherboard. Now you have access to the connector. Hold its rubber handle and carefully unplug it by pulling it towards the bottom of the laptop. Now, you can safely undo the six Phillips head screws that hold the unit fixed to the chassis. The capacity is enough for around 20 hours of video playback. The result is great. To achieve that, you have to apply the Energy Saver preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Optimized Power Plan in the My Dell app. You get up to 64 gigabytes of soldered LPDDR5X, 8448 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode, which sounds like a future proof amount. In terms of storage, there is just one M.2 slot compatible with 2230 or 2280 Gen 4 NVMe drives. The SSD here has a metal shield on top that is fixed to the chassis with one Phillips head screw. When you undo it, slide the cover to the left and lift it away from the chassis. The NVMe is additionally cooled by a thermal pad below the metal plate and one more pad underneath the SSD itself. The Wi-Fi 7 card is also soldered and it's placed close to the left fan. The cooling seems good for such a thin and light machine. It has a pair of fans, one long thick heat pipe, two heat sinks, and a heat spreader.